people who give you trouble, so to speak, amen, these shall be punished with everlasting destruction, amen, from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. That is how powerful the Lord is. And let me tell you something, your mommy and your daddy may punish you, amen, you may go to work and your boss punish you by um, firing you or get, getting you suspended. Hallelujah. You may, you may sin against a country or commit a crime. Hallelujah. That the nation says that is, that is punishable by law. The law may send you to jail. Hallelujah. That's one thing. But when the Lord God punish you, you know, hallelujah, there's no turning back. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because once you are punished, by the Lord, he doesn't go back on his word. His, the word of God says forever his word is settled. And so if he said that you are condemned to punishment, then that's exactly what is being happening. Amen. Some of these people, hallelujah, they hate one another and they live a miserable life. They cannot make ends meet and they are wondering what's going on. Hallelujah. Sometimes it is because of their deeds and sometimes Amen. It's because of punishment. Hallelujah. But guess what? The Lord isn't punishing you because he wants to punish you. The Lord tell you how to live. Amen. Your life. And if you don't live according to his will, then you will be punished. Amen. If your parents tell you not to go outside and you go outside playing and you break your leg. Amen. All they have to do is tell you, well, you stay inside, but you are you have already punished yourself because you broke a limb. Amen? amen. So likewise, if you're not living according to the word, amen, of God, and things are drying up in your life, you can't seem to break out and break through and see light and have peace and hope, amen, in your life, then you know, amen, sometime you have to check yourself and see, amen, yes. It's punishment, and some people hate and curse God because of these things. Hallelujah. But it is not for you to search, uh, curse God. It is for you to search yourself. Amen. And see where you are going wrong according to the word of God. Amen. Amen. And when we talk about falling away, hallelujah, from Christ, the word of God says, if you're following me in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, it says, Now, brethren, Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask not to be shaken in mind or troubled, amen, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come, amen. amen. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first. And the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. Amen? Amen. The word of God is saying to you, people of God, even as I revelate or reveal the word of God today, whenever you are deceived, first of all, hallelujah, when you become deceived, it's because you have fallen away from Christ. Amen? Hallelujah. That's what the word of God says. First, it would come a falling away. So when people who are in Christ, you grow up in church, you know about God, you go participating in church, your parents tell you about God. Next thing you know, amen, there is sin. Somebody coming for the women, someone come and sweet talk them and give them money. Amen, for, for the boys. Somebody come and say, oh, I'll be your big brother. Come and do this for me and do that for me and I'll give you money. I'll give you anything that you need. Come and shoot up this person. Amen. You can be my hit man. You know how much powerful, how powerful that is. Come and call the shots for me. Amen. The only way you can be deceived, people of God, is if you first fall away or you first walk out of the will of God. So people of God, especially for you young children, I can tell you, I know, I can know a situation even now, people of God and especially you young men and young women that is in here, amen, let nothing separate you from the love of God, let nothing separate you from fellowship, fellowshipping with God, amen, let nothing take away your peace and your joy and your freedom, amen. Let nothing, hallelujah, 
do what is good and shun what is evil. You know what is right and wrong because you have already been deposited. Even for you who is out there, you have already have a seed of righteousness deposited in you. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not let weeds grow up. Hallelujah. Or company. Amen. Or even sometimes your parents or your sibling or your children separate you from God. Because once that separation starts, then there is destruction. So many of our young people who we know and we love, so many grown persons who we know and we love, men and women who were on fire for God, they are falling astray. People who used to sing, hallelujah, in church, used to preach, used to have that desire for God, amen. And just from committing one sin, they fall away, never repented, and just stay on that path. Where they are now, where are they? They're in jail. They are dead. They have disease. Amen. They are they have gone out of their minds. They are struggling. They have so many children that they cannot take care of. And yet so they still go and sleep around. They have no peace. Amen. Let nothing separate you from God. Especially since he has given you his power. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. And when we talk about 